If you're brand new to watercolor, here's why it's a good idea to swatch your paints. The color on the tube is never exactly the same as it is on the inside. Here's Windsor & Newton's French Ultramarine. Here's the same color in Daniel Smith and M. Graham's Ultramarine Blue. None match the color on the tube. Colors can also have the same name and be made with the same pigment and still be slightly different from one another. The top is Daniel Smith, the middle is Schmincke, and the bottom is Windsor & Newton. All three are French Ultramarine made with Pigment Blue 29 and all are slightly different from one another. It's also helpful to create little color strips where you mix two colors together to see the variety of colors they'll make, or color charts where you can see at a glance the mixes you can get from your paints. I like to make little swatch sheets before painting to decide which colors will make the best mixes. If you'd like to see how I swatch my new paints, check back for part two. And that's today's tip. See you soon.